Hello, it's Mrs. Trombley. It is Monday, February 22nd, and it's time to check your bell work. So you should already have this done, and you're just checking your answers, and make sure if you got anything wrong that you fix it. And you should show your work on these. So let's go. Number one, I have two and three-fourths minus one and five-eighths, and the first thing I notice is that this is subtraction, and I don't have a common denominator. So I need to get one. And I notice that four times two is eight, so I'm gonna multiply this three-fourths by two over two. So this would change to two and six-eighths minus one and five-eighths. And right off the bat, I'm like, yay, six-eighths minus five-eighths, I can subtract five from six. So when I do six-eighths minus five-eighths, that gives me one-eighth, and two minus one is one. So one and one-eighth is what you should have. For number two, I notice I am adding these fractions and I do not have a common denominator. I can multiply three by three to get nine though. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply both of those by three over three. So I have four and six ninths plus one and five ninths. So when I do that, I know that six ninths plus five ninths would give me 11 ninths. And yeah, we'll fix that in a minute. And four plus one is five. This 11 ninths, I need to change that. So 11 ninths is one and two ninths. So I have the five plus I have the one and two ninths. That would make my final answer six and two ninths. Just circle my other. For number three, seven minus two and one sixth. Honestly, I would put this up as a number talk and this is one that you could kind of count up with. Like I know if I take one sixth plus five sixths, that gives me one whole. So then I'd be at three, and three plus four is seven. So four and five, six, that is one you could do in your head. If you're like, ah, uh, I don't know, then you could set it up like this, seven minus two and one sixth. And this one you would have to borrow for because I can't take one sixth away from nothing. So I borrow from that seven. And when I borrow the one whole, since we're dealing with six, it would be six, six. And six, six minus one, six is five, six. And six minus two is four. So either way, you get four and five, six for your final answer. Now we're to some multiplication. I have four ninths times six sevenths, and I wanna see, can I cross simplify it all? Four and seven I cannot, but six and nine I can. So three goes into six twice and into nine three times. Four times two is eight, and three times seven is 21. Now if you have 24 over 63, that's fine, but you can simplify that down to eight over 21. For number five, these are two mixed numbers that we are multiplying, so we need to change these to improper fractions first. Three times one is three, plus one is four thirds times. Eight times one is eight, nine, 10, 11 eighths. And when I look at this, I see, oh, I can cross simplify. I can cross simplify the four and the eight. Four goes into four once and into eight twice. So one times 11 is 11, and three times two is six. Yes, that is improper. Six goes into 11 one time with five left out of six. So one and five, six is what you should have. And for number six, I see that we are multiplying a mixed number times a whole number, so I'm gonna change this mixed number. 10 times two is 20, plus nine is 29 tenths, and I'm gonna put this 15 over one. Now, I definitely don't wanna do 29 times 15 if I don't have to, and I don't have to. With 10 and 15, five goes into both of those. Five goes into 10 twice, and five goes into 15 three times. So now I do need to take 29 times three. Um, one thing you could do is you could go 30, 60, 90, and then take three away from that. So, and if you're like, what are you talking about? You can just, you can set it up and do your little 29 times three if you want. And nine times three is 27, and three times two is six, plus two is eight. So we'd get 87 over two. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and simplify this, right? So how many times does two go into 87? That's the question. And I don't know if you recall from doing this last year, but one little strategy you could use is you can say, well, I know that two times 40 is 80, right? So if you have 40 twos, you have 80. I'm trying to get to 87, right? Well, I know that two times three is six, and that would get me at 86. So I can fit 43 twos in there. And then I have, if I have 86, it's one more to get to 87. 
So I'd have 43 and a half. 43 and a half. Okay, so now we're at seven, eight, nine. I ask you to write the multiplication equation equivalent to each division equation, and then we're gonna solve it out. And we had learned that four divided by seven, meaning we have four waffles, we cut each one up into seven pieces, remember all the waffles. And we saw that if I wanted to know how many total I had, oops, sorry, I did not mean to kick the chair that has the camera holder, that we can take four times one seventh. So you should have four times one seventh, and that gives us four sevenths. For one divided by nine, it basically means you're taking one waffle and you're cutting it up into nine pieces. So that means you'd have one ninth one time. So one divided by nine is the same as one times one ninth. And if you have one ninth one times, you have one ninth. <laughs> Makes sense, doesn't it? Okay, 12 divided by five. So if I'm taking 12 and dividing each of those 12 by five, that's the same as saying 12 times one fifth. And if you have 12 times one fifth, you might wanna look at this like the 12 over the one times one over five. And 12 times one is 12. And one times five is five. And this can be simplified. Five goes into 12. Two times with two left over out of five. All right, you're all set with your bell work. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.